My little Halloween treats have a bite. And this bite isn't about the spice. This bite is all about the teeth. This is a helpful little Halloween snack that's so fun to make, whether you're making it alone or you've got a kitchen full of children helping you. You start with apples. And I'm going to show you an easy way to slice the apple to make it easy to assemble these little bites. So first take your apple, a nice clean apple, and I'm just going to make two slices right along the side, right along the core of the inside of the apple. So I've got two halves, and then I'm just going to cut these each in half. And then I'm going to take a slice off of each half that I've got here. So here's two slices of apple and they're nice and even. If you cut wedges, which you can do, you can cut the apple into wedges, it's just a little bit harder for them to stay together when you make the little mouths. So I've got my apple slices and then a little bit of peanut butter. Put just a nice light coating of peanut butter on one side of each apple slice. And on the one, I'm going to put a little bit along the bottom edge because that's going to be right on top of this apple slice that will hold it together. But before I stick them together, I'd like to have just a little bit of redness inside the mouth. So just a little dab of some red jelly. I've got some strawberry jelly here. And now the teeth. I'm going to use some slivered almonds. If you'd like to stay away from nuts, you can certainly use pumpkin seeds. Even sunflower seeds will work. They're just a little bit harder to poke in. So just go right along the edge of the mouth with your slivered almonds. And then of course you need some nice, nice sharp teeth on top too, right? Oops, that one just kind of broke a little bit. So you see how easy these are to just poke right into the apple slice? And once you have all the teeth you want, it's time to put that little bite together. And so I'm going to set it right on top of that edge of the bottom apple slice. And there you go. You've got a bite right there. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.